Well, we're thrilled to be here and so excited to see the movie and get to meet Arlo and Spot. And, uh, you know, it's so great to have this partnership with Disney and to have the Tetons, to have the Red Desert, uh, Yellowstone as uh, part of the inspiration for this movie. So we flew a long ways to be here and we didn't want to miss it. We're very excited to be here. It really is, if you take an uh, image of, of the movie and contrast it or overlay it, uh, you know, say against the Tetons, uh, it's, it's more than close. You, you can see uh, that's what it is. And so to see that and to get to see it tonight and having grown up at the foot of the Tetons, uh, I'm really excited to see it. And uh, I hope not only uh, kids and adults all over enjoy it, but I hope they recognize that, you know, for example, the, uh, the Apatosaurus is native to Wyoming. We are a dinosaur state. We have dinosaur bones. We have great museums uh, in Thermopolis and uh, Laramie. So it's really a great fit, and we're excited uh, to have this partnership and this opportunity to be here tonight. They, they really do. Uh, you know, I, I think for my kids and myself, you know, uh, when you talk about Toy Story, for example, it's a movie that the kids love to see when they were much younger. It's one that I like to see when I was old then and older now. It is universal because they are so well done and they entertain us because uh, not only their creativity, but their humor, the story that goes with it, the challenges that go with it. And so now as we take a look at The Good Dinosaur, I'm sure it'll have the same amount of success uh, because it will be universally beloved by so many because of the story and the humor and the challenges that are faced by the characters.